Hey guys, welcome to another episode of uh, Lose a Lot Wine in China. Um, actually, my friend asked me to do him a favor. I just thought about that now. Um, my friend asked me to do him a favor and to shout out uh, his website. And as long as I'm talking about, I guess, uh, dating... I might as well give his website a shout out. So here's what I'm going to do. So um, for all you guys in America who are into Asian women, um, my friend who actually he's the first, he's the person that got me my first 100 subscribers. So shout out to, to my boy. Um, he has a website that he's made. He's an entrepreneur in Thailand. And for all of those guys who are interested in dating Asian women or you're interested in getting married or something like that, scam free, um, I'm going to give you a website right now that you can go to and it's called, it's HTTPS, you know, because it's usually HTTP, right? I don't know, but it's HTTPS, you know, the... The, the colon slash slash www.asiakik.com. So that's HTTPS, uh, the colon, double slash, www.asiakik.com. So it's like, Asia Kick is like A-S-I-A-K-I-K um, dot C-O-M. And I looked. On the website, it looks pretty legit. Um, he's good at doing business and all this other stuff, so I trust him in everything that he does. So check it out, and uh, yeah, tell me if you land somebody there. So this episode is about being short, and the problems that short people have to deal with. Uh, especially when being in America. Now you have some people who might disagree with me and say, hey, I'm short and I get so many women and blah, 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 and I'm dating and I have no problem. And that's fine and dandy. But most of the time, the people that get most women are tall. Tall men get higher salaries. Tall men get more women in general. Okay, we cannot dispute this. We cannot argue this. Uh, it's basically nature, it's genetics. It's, it's, it's the whatever is in our encoded in our system that makes you know the opposite sex like taller men because they seem stronger. They seem like they're the protector, right? And I. When I was young, I mean, in university, in high school, even before that, I had so many problems because I was short. I mean, God blessed me with a nice body, actually. He blessed me with, I'm naturally muscular. You know, if I go into the gym for like a month, I, now I look like shit because my stomach, because I'm about to smoke. I smoke sometimes and I drink beer. Um, but if I was going to the gym for like a month and stop all this crap, I come out looking really good. It's just God bless me with being muscular and having a great body shape and have, actually having a great butt. Most girls say they like me because of my butt. Okay, But what God did not bless me with or what, what I wasn't blessed with is height. And when I was 13 years old, I looked like I was like 8 years old. I was just so small. Now, if you read American Nightmare, I don't know if it's genetics or is it because the thing that happened to me when I was young, when my bones were broken. Like, my, all my leg bones are broken, like, almost shattered because I was abused by this, my, uh, my birth parents. 
okay, so everything in my body was kind of shattered, at least from the waist down or whatever. That's what my foster mother told me. Uh, I don't really know if it contributes to my uh, my height. Maybe I could have been taller. I'm not sure, you know. But sometimes I think about that, like, if that didn't happen, maybe I'd be a little bit taller. And, it, you know, it's been problems throughout my life. You know, you got bigger kids, they're going to pick on you because you're smaller. Because I'm 13, I look like I was 8. You know, and then when you're 16, you look like you're 12. You know, and you got the people around me, they're this huge. I mean, a 12-year-old. It was bigger than me, you know, trying to pick fights with me and 13-year-olds and stuff like that. And it doesn't help with women either, like being short. It just doesn't help. I'm, For the record, I'm like 5'6". Okay, and that's short. In America, I feel like I am a fucking dwarf. You know, um, was I self-conscious about it? I don't think I was very self-conscious about it. I just learned to block it, but like when you were, when I was trying to like kick it with girls or something like that, or the girls that I liked, they were always taller than me. And a lot of American girls are just bigger than me, you know, taller and bigger than me, you know. Um, so girls don't feel comfortable about going out with men that are shorter than them or that are like the same size. They want a guy that's bigger than them. So then you're just denigrated. Your your dating pool is is dwindled because you only can deal with women that are your size or shorter, you know, so that you feel tall. Sometimes I used to do this trick, <laughs> which it didn't work so much because my best friend, he was very tall. He's like six foot two or six foot three or something. Aries, I told you about him. And when we used to walk in the street, I used to tell him, you walk all the way on that side so that when we're walking, we seem like we are the same size. You know, or I'm not that short. Because if we're walking together, you can just see the difference. It's like Abbott and Costello and shit. You know? <laughs> So, um, that was a big problem in America. I mean, I got my fair share of women, but I also think that if I was taller, I would have been more successful in dating. You know, uh, some people talked about my look. When I was in high school, girls used to talk about, oh, you ugly, got the buck teeth and shit, and you got the... You're so black and all this kind of, but that really never really affected me. Cause like on a good, if I got a haircut and all that stuff, I got a haircut and and I took all the oil off my face and all that. I look pretty decent, you know. So that wasn't the biggest problem. Like as I got older, I got a little bit better looking. Like when I first wake up, I look really disgusting. But I I take like an hour a day getting myself together. You know, so, and also clothes make the man, too. This is Gap. I always buy premium clothes. That helps. But all those people who have problems with dating, and they feel like they are not... I would say, because I, I, I guess I was, I was also self-conscious about my penis size. Too. I don't know if it was relative to my height or to my size. I mean, I have an average size penis. I don't have this big giant whatever, right? And it seemed like all the women around me wanted these big giant penises. <laughs> when I say giant, I'm talking about like 10, 12 inches, you know. And that was all the rave. And you cannot tell me this because the joke, even with black women, the joke is on you if she says in front of your friends and hers that your penis is too small. 
You know, so all us men, we are very self-conscious about our penis size. Um, in America, I was very self-conscious about that, even though I was more, I, I guess I'm like bigger than the average size. I say I'm bigger than the average size, but not big enough, you know. Um, at least with bigger girls, you know, because you got some guy that's six foot two, he's, he's probably going to have like a giant thing, right? And then if that was her last boyfriend, like, <laughs> what do I feel about that? You know, so I used to hate it though, because it used to be like, you, God, you gave me big lips, you gave me a big nose, but you gave me an average sized penis. You know, <laughs> you didn't give me a 10 inch, you know <laughs> but now that I've moved uh, to China, to Asia, where people tend to be short, it's changing now, though. It's changing now because uh, before these kids, they didn't have milk in their diet. Before they became Americanized, before Asia and China became Americanized. Chinese people did not have milk in their diet. And nowadays, the elite class, like when you walk around my school here, the high school students, they're giant. They're like all looking like Yao Ming. They're all like at least five foot ten. Like every kid. And even the girls are like super tall now. But before, it didn't used to be like that. But because there are so many people here, I would say most of the people are like my size or just a little bit taller. So I say that I can compete. And when I was single, I can compete uh, in this country because I am not considered actually short. I'm just considered like this a regular size well nowadays it might be considered short but i'll say back in the days like like when i first came that's a long time ago you know a lot changed uh i was considered okay like right size now some you know some girls may say oh yeah you i never i don't think no i never had a girl say you're too short but they have some girls here that like really tall guys or or whatever but i'm telling you like if you're having these kinds of problems in america you have problems competing you know that you find that you cannot be like an alpha male in america move <laughs> like move to asia where people are shorter they tend to be shorter and I don't find any shame in admitting or saying this. I don't find any shame at all um, get in where you fit in. You know, uh, being short is like, I never had that like Napoleon complex or, or whatever or overcompensation. I just took it as is like, okay, like I'm short. There's nothing really you can do about it. Um. But as I got to Asia, like, I just developed more confidence. And a lot of Western girls, they will say that about foreigners here, that, oh, he was a loser back home, and then he came to China, and now he thinks he's the man. And some people do think like that. There's a lot of people who do think, like, a lot of foreigners, guys that came here, and then, you know, they wasn't getting nothing at home, and then they came here, and they was just getting everything. I've witnessed it. I still still witness it <coughs> but that's not necessarily linked to size i mean the the size of uh your height man i had i knew this guy uh from california and he was like six four and we used to hang out in shanghai i mean shenyang with his friends and stuff we all were together white guy uh, very good looking to the beauty standards of what good looking is. He was very timid before he came to China. He was a virgin. So he came at like 22 or something like this, 22, 23. 
highly intelligent. Then, he, and he was a virgin. So, then when he came to China, he was like Superman. You know, he was just literally, the girls thought he was Superman, you know. And, he, you know, he kind of had the looks like that. And he was just getting girls left and right, left and right. And he was 6'4". You know, and then he started getting cocky, 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 cocky. So when I think about loser, I don't necessarily, loser back home, I don't necessarily think about, oh, he was an ugly guy. Oh, he didn't have a job. It depends on your personality and character. So this guy was, see, I don't think he was a loser back. He was just very shy, um, introvert and everything. And then China just brought him out and he just became a super cocky bastard because of, like, all the tail he was getting. And he was very timid. And, and we as friends, we used to tease him and say, look, look, you need to get some tail. You need to get some tail. You know, we used to kind of, not me, but, like, other people used to tease him, like, oh, you need to get some ass, you need to get some poontang, you need to do this, you need to do, like, we were pressuring him into doing it. And then after he started doing it, then he became cocky and just an asshole, you know. And that's the kind of guy I would say, I would say LBH, but he wasn't a loser, but I would call him that, like, this type of name. Because he wasn't nobody till he got here. You know. So, like, if you're a shorter guy, I would definitely suggest coming to China. Uh, I mean, it, it definitely can propel you to some sort of, like, alpha male, should I say? Uh, would I consider myself an alpha male? No, I, I don't like to label myself... In these type of categories. I definitely don't think. I'm an alpha male. But I will do what is necessary. To protect myself and my family. Okay. Um, but. You definitely like girls here. They don't really. I mean they care about like. Height but not as much as American girls. Like American girls will just write you off. But here, like, you could be kind of short, but if you have just, like, a great personality, you can date, like, a girl that's, like, taller than you, that's, like, two, two, three inches taller than you, because, I mean, how do I know? Because I've done it, like, I mean, I told you, I'm 5'6", and I think I dated, like, two girls who were just, like, 5'9", five, 5'8", five, I mean, that's tall, like, this... And it was no problem. As long as we walked, like, separate like this and not hand-in-hand, hand, it wasn't that big of a problem. So my suggestion to you guys is this uh, short men move to Asia, man. You have a much better chance and you fit in much more because most of the people are kind of like your size. You know, um, it works. So this is uh, Loser Lao Wai in China the flag and go to this website https colon slash slash asia kik dot com to get you some poontang and uh stay sharp people stay sharp